will admit that I did not watch LA Law. So that was a little before my time. So, but I Wikipedia'd you and I saw that you had a very small role in Dr. Horrible Sing Along blog. And I love that little thing. So I wondered if you could talk to me about that. And I also wanted to tell you that I met Corbin Burnson and I rode an elevator with him and he kissed me on the cheek. So I was wondering uh, if he was as magnificent as his kiss on the cheek was. Is he as nice as pie? Yeah, he. <laughs> He's very um, personable. I will put that. Yes, definitely okay. personable. Loves women. Um, <laughs> women love him. Uh, always, still. Um, yeah. Yeah. He. He. He was. He was a lot of fun to work with. He was also like my brother in that we fought a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but we had a great time doing it. Yeah. We actually were bonding over the, the passing of his mother and my, my, my grandmother had passed. So it was more of a, like, not romantic. It was like, thanks for talking to me, that kind of thing. So yeah. that's Wait, are, all are, are, guys, are huh? guys now, are, are guys now allowed to just randomly kiss women and who they, who they so, mean elevators. Elevators? Is that so the, the okay so the full story is i was at a film festival and he presented his film so we watched his film and my husband and i were talking to him and as is usual with my husband and i we're the last ones to leave the party and so we're talking to him and he walks with us onto the elevator and we get off on his floor and we just keep talking and we're talking about this really personal stuff and at the end of it he shakes my husband's hand he's like it was so good to really talk talk to you all and then he kissed me goodbye on my on my cheek so that was my brush with corbin bernson okay well that's, well, you know. that's yeah. not like that's, that's not like sexist or anything that's no. just really sweet. yeah yeah it no. was really it was really now he can be a he has the ability to be an incredibly sweet person mm -hmm. um he's just you know very so ashley just asked her first question i did uh, dr horrible dr horrible yes you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. when, when was it? Well, it says that you were in an unnamed role on uh, Wikipedia. Maybe they mixed you up with somebody else. I think they must have because that, that has no familiarity. Joss Whedon did it with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Mm -hmm. It was during the writer's strike. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember it. I kind of remember it. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't have a specific recall of it. I remember Neil, but I don't remember what we did or what it was about or anything. You should Sorry. watch it. It's good. You, it's you good. could tell me. What did I do? I don't know. <laughs> I because it said you were in a small unnamed role, and I was like, oh, wonderful. I wonder who she was in it. So I was going to ask you who I'm you were in it. I'll let you know. Okay, great. So clearly it was the most mem memorable role of her <laughs> whole career in her yeah. whole lifetime right. because yeah. we are record we are recording this so we yes. want to make sure that right. the Josh Weed knows how much she loves it. Yeah, and Josh Weed knows it. what an incredible impact <laughs> that on you. Yeah. Yeah.